Uh, it is 946, so I'm going to get started soon. All right. And let me just start off by saying, uh, make sure you guys keep your microphones off. And if you need to answer or need to ask a question, make sure you raise your hand and then I will get to you or one of the other teachers will let me know if I don't see you right away, okay? Because uh, art will go a lot better if you guys just raise your hand. And that way I can see what you guys are wanting to say. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna flip my camera down so you guys can see. There you go. And the best suggestion I have for you guys is to pin me and it'll solve a lot of issues if you are having glitching problems with the video. So if you pin me, so if you just click on my hand, especially if you're on a Chromebook, uh, it'll solve those issues for you guys, okay? So make sure you guys pin me and I'll become bigger on your screen, okay? I see Miss Mervetti's holding a um, little sign for that. I need that sign. Miss Mervetti always has the best signs. All right, so again, for today, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, and your art workbook. Quinn, do you have a question? No? Okay, thanks so much. All right, we're gonna start right away uh, because I do wanna make sure I don't run out of time here. So with that said, let's just go over what we've done so far. So this art workbook is something that we've been working on. We worked on a couple elements of art. So the first one we learned about was lines. Good job. We learned about lines over here as well. Perfect. And guess what? We're going to keep learning about lines, but in a different way. So this page right here, this page right here, they're dotted lines, right? They're dotted lines. So my best suggestion for you guys to do is I want you guys to take this page and try to pull it out or remove it from your packet. So the best way I like to do is just pull it, and if it's stapled, you might have to rip it, but mine's paper clipped, so mine slides easily off, just like this, okay? Once you have it off, place it aside, and you may close your workbook and put that aside as well, because we're only be needing this page right here, okay? Just this page right there. All right, I'm gonna be waiting a little bit longer, so again, you're gonna need this page right here, detached, the pair of scissors. If you don't have uh, this worksheet, a blank sheet of paper will work just as fine. So for any reason you don't have this, uh, you can get a blank sheet of paper. But if you don't have a blank sheet of paper or this worksheet, watching is fine as well. Okay, so if you just want to watch, that's a third option and that is allowed. Okay, so no complaints there. All right, so here we go. So if you have this worksheet, thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you guys have this worksheet. All right, great. So what you're gonna do, if you put your thumb up and you do have this worksheet, I want you guys just to wait because I'm gonna talk to the people that don't have it and they just have a blank sheet of paper. If you have the blank sheet of paper, I just want you guys to draw a couple lines for now. I want you guys to draw a straight line, a wavy line, and zigzags for right now, okay? If you have just a blank sheet of paper, okay? However, if you don't, just this is fine. All right, I see, um, Kathy, I see you're struggling with getting the thing out. So I'm gonna teach you something really cool to in order to get it out. So say for instance, Mr. Mill, I can't get the paper out of my packet. I'm gonna teach you some, something really cool, here you go. All right, so say for instance it's stuck in here, right, Kathy? It's stuck inside your book. All you gotta do is grab it like this. And if you want, just cut where it's attached. Just cut where it's attached. And then that way it should be able to come off your page. Can you try to cut it out? I know I see you struggling there. I don't want you to worry about this project. It's real easy. Let's try to cut it off. Are you able to cut it out? Don't worry. You're doing good. Okay, Kathy. Oh, good job. All right, see, nothing to worry about, Kathy. All right, now that's situated. All right, so we have the people that have the workbook and we have the people that don't have it and there's people that are just gonna watch today. All right, so here we go. 
this is not a really good way to cut the piece of paper, okay? Because if we hold our paper like this and you hold the paper like scissors like this, you're gonna have to twist your arm to go over here at an angle. So that's not the smartest thing to do. So if I were you, I would probably hold my paper horizontally, okay? So turn your paper horizontal, just like this. So instead of like this, hold it like this. All right, great job. Now, if you haven't remembered from kindergarten how to hold a pair of scissors, it's actually pretty easy. You wanna make sure the blades are closed. And then if you're a righty like me, you're gonna put your thumb in the small hole and three fingers on the big hole. If you are a lefty, it's the same thing. Thumb on the big hole and three fingers on the small hole. But I'm a righty, so I'm gonna switch back. And then with my left hand, my empty hand, you can't hold the piece of paper just like this. Oh, thumbs to the sky, I like that. All right, next up, you never wanna have your blades pointing towards you. That'd be very unsafe and you don't wanna point it towards anyone in particular either. If we were in the classroom, I would never allow you guys to point scissors at anyone else, okay? So here we go. The first step is we're gonna focus on the first line. The first line, is a straight line. Does everyone see this? Is a straight line. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your pair of scissors and you're gonna cut on this dotted straight line. So you guys can copy me if you guys would like. I'm just gonna cut it completely off. Look at that. So this part where it says I can learn lines and it has all the instructions, that was part of that uh, straight line page. So I'm gonna put it up to the side that is considered scraps, okay? So we can recycle that later. We can recycle that later. If you had the blank sheet of paper, just do the same thing. We're just gonna cut that line off, just like this. And then put it to the side, and that's our scraps, okay? We don't need scraps. We can recycle that later. So basically, we're gonna be recycling this whole page, but at the same time, we're gonna be practicing cutting our line. This is a good skill to have, and it's a very important to practice it in first grade because it'll help you later in life. Okay. So what you're gonna do is go to the next one. The next one is called wavy lines. This one's a little bit harder, so I'm gonna show you guys how I try to do it. Like this, I'm gonna try to cut like that. Sometimes a lot of kids open the scissors all the way like this. I've noticed that. Sometimes that's harder to get control. So if you just put the blade like a little bit smaller like this, and then just try to do like small little movements with your hands, kind of like going like this, like really small like this, instead of going like really big like this, you might have an easier time cutting, okay? If you make a mistake like me, look at this. Oh my gosh, Mr. Mill made a mistake. That's okay. It's only practice. All right, so if you make a mistake like how I did just now, like that, it's completely fine. So again, these are just practice sheets. I'm gonna put it in my scrap pile so I can recycle it later. Okay. And you're gonna do the exact same thing if you had a blank sheet of paper. And if you're just here to watch, that's okay too, because again, you just being here is important to me. That's all I want. There we go. Oh, Owen, here. I didn't see you there. Hi. You just got, just got here? Cool. All right. Now, the next one, the third one, is a zigzag line. This one you'll find a lot easier than the wavy line. If I'm going too fast, it's okay. You can go at your own pace. I see some people struggling here. It's okay. If you're on the straight line still, that's fine. If you're still on the wavy line, that's fine. If you're just waiting for me to do the zigzag, you guys can go ahead of me, okay? It's okay. It's quite all right. So I'm gonna start doing my zigzag. And again, there's no such thing as falling behind in art when it comes to this workbook. And every single meeting is recorded. So if you wanna do it in your own time, you can. Ta-da! Awesome job. I see a lot of people cutting and focusing. Nice job, guys. And I like how people are keeping muted and raising their hand if they need to ask a question. Um, I can see that I'm having way more time 
in this class versus the other one. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. So I'm gonna cut this one right here, which is the zigzag. I'm gonna try to catch up to you guys. Mr. Mill's falling behind here. All right, so if you were one of those people that had the blank sheet of paper, you can try to invent your own lines. Otherwise, you can draw more lines. So another line you could do is kind of like scales or scallop lines like this. You can make castle lines if you want. Or you can make kind of like shark fins, kind of like waves. That's going to be the hardest one probably for me. That'd be kind of cool. But if you had the workbook page, it's already drawn for you already. So it's already done for you. And you guys can go ahead and keep going. So I want to keep going as well. I'm going to do my scalp lines here. Kind of look like little hills. And as you notice, as you go further and further down the page, your skills are getting better. So this is a good skill to have, guys. And again, this is all going to be your scraps. We don't need to save them. They were just for practice, so you can recycle them later. So I'm going to put up my little recycling pile right there. All right. I am going to turn my camera around because I don't need to show you guys anything anymore. Uh, I guess I can take a peek at what's going on next week. So here's the workbook lines. I already cut out the scissor page right there. So let's take a look at next week. All right, so next week it looks like we're going to talk about glue. Color wheel. I think we're just going to do glue activity maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll do the color wheel activity. I haven't decided yet. Or maybe we'll take a break from the workbook. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll read one of these books. I don't know. All right, I'll decide that later. All right, it looks like it's 9.58. So if you guys are done, then great. If you guys are tired, you may stop cutting. If you guys just want to take a break and call it uh, done for the day, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my camera around so I can say goodbye in a little bit. Not yet, obviously. All right, and then I'm going to stop recording. So I'm going to stop recording right now, make sure it goes to my folder. Yep.